Hey guys, Doug here again with another quick little video. This is a video I've wanted to make for a while just to add to my uh, introduction to uh, wood carving playlist. Uh, kind of a beginner's guide to uh, skews, gouges, V-tools, and whatnot. Uh, most of my tutorials in the past have been knife only, and that may or may not change. I'm, uh, I'm not a purist with one knife only. And you've seen in some of my latest uh, demonstration videos where I have picked up different tools and told you what I'm using. But uh, I just want to go over real quickly so that uh, you don't get caught buying sets and multiples of tools that you're not going to use. I want to go through a whole bunch of these tools and uh, maybe just uh, maybe leave you with maybe four or five tools that would really help supplement your carving with your knife. All right. You know, and is it necessary? No, it's not necessary. But... I just took a couple of examples here. Like, I can take your knife-only Santa and and make your realistic Santa much more easy with supplemental tools. All right. So this is not a. This is what you have to get. This is just a. This is what's out there, and this is why I would choose just to go down to you know four or five little extra tools. And remember, we're talking. Uh, you know, like character carving we're not going to talk about the big uh, wood spirits or tree carving where you would you'd want the the big uh, full-size tools i still want to keep it down to a smaller size and um, palm tools really palm tools meaning like uh, those that obviously will fit in your palm all right smaller tools you'll see me using the uh, mid-sized tools i don't recommend that I'm a, a kind of a weirdo maybe, but uh, I kind of grew used to these mid-sized tools, but I also got the bigger, bigger paws, right? So I do recommend the uh, palm tools, and uh, let's just get going here. Uh, without a doubt, one of the first ones that we'll get to, and one of the ones that's going to be first in our bucket list is the V-Tool. All these tools here in front of me are V-Tools right here, all right? Now, obviously, a V-Tool is just that, a V-Tool... The V chisel, also known as a, a parting tool. All right. Now they'll come in different uh, different uh, degrees, whereas your uh, your regular ninety is just that a ninety degree V. All right. The probably the most common one is a sixty, which is just a little bit more than the than the ninety. All right. And that's uh, very common with the flex cut. All right. And they also go down to forty five, which is a fairly sharp really pointed uh, V cut and but same hand you can also get a, a 120 which is a very long but you know most of these are useless you know I use probably the the 60 is, is my favorite one right here and that would be like uh, I guess this is probably about a, a 10 mil there's also V that are not as sharp they're called a soft V and they have a little bit of a rounder bottom but we're not going to talk about them if we're going to pick one of these out of all of these for character carving, I would stick with the regular 60 degree and like I said, 10 mil. You can go like uh, this is a, a V tool as well. You can get down the micro tools all the way up to jumbo tools. All right. And they're all V tools. The difference being with these V tools is sizes. You can play with the sizes, whereas you can have a micro V tool right there on the bottom of that V tool. You can have a bigger V-tool right here, all right? And and so on and so forth. Where this does not work with the gouges, it does work with the V-tools. So get the largest one that you're comfortable with because you can just use just the point for a smaller V or the deeper you go until you reach the outer wall, top edge of the V, all right? So I'm going to take this one right here and I'm going to put that in our keeper list and uh, that's one tool. Over here we got a pile of uh, gouges and uh, this is where the numbers start. So this is one to three I've got here. I see one to five, let's say. And one to five, one being flat, perfectly straight flat. All right, more of a chisel, okay? And then two obviously is just a, I'll use the big ones just for demonstration, but you can just see a very slight, slight curve in it, five. A little bit more these big ones are nice so uh, you can see but uh very shallow and of course the three all right now how much different will a number two say a number two 
to a number five get you all right very very little little difference so would you need two tools no well, do i need a flat one well here's the thing if i was going to pick from one to five i'm going to pick the number three just the number three so it gives you just a little bit of a belly in the bottom but it's not straight problem with straight is you dig in a uh, a straight chisel into your wood all right you're already pulling up the edges right because it's flat number three is just enough that those wings you can take wood off without digging the corner tips in all right so you're still removing are you going to know the difference you know on that wood from a flat chisel probably not in fact the part of the nice what i like about carving is looking at a, a few facets along the way so out of all of these here between one and three one being flat or sorry i keep saying three five four even five is just a little bit but you know after five obviously a six seven eight nine so do we need this if we want a, a base i would stick with the number three and if i'm going to stick with flex cut i'm going to pick this one right here they obviously they have different sizes but this is probably a good uh, a good five eighths let's say maybe not quite five eighths let's, let's go by millimeters here it's about a, a 15 millimeter that's the good overall so i am going to keep a number three just for getting you know you can get him up in between arms you can remove wood in hard to reach areas so we are going to keep a number three and that's going to go in our pile you know in this pile here we've got six seven eight nine and like i said they just keep getting a little bit more let's just uh, show you for example if this is the a seven all right i'll show you the big one the nine okay you can see quite the quite the gouge there okay so seven eight nine can you really tell the difference if you're carving between the seven and the eight very uh, i mean the width is not what we're talking about but the the depth the the depth of the gouge it's very hard to tell even the that's eight nine and these come in handy all the time and i like to use a number nine to dig in the eye sockets and again it's the width that you're more concerned about now whereas you can have a number nine again probably a dockyard gouge is a number nine up to the big bruiser okay but middle of the road is uh this is a, a file tool and again we're probably talking about that 15 mil area all right so do we have a uh if we stuck with the flex cut i would say that is exactly the same okay so flex cut make this is a number nine and uh that's the same thing so out of seven eight or nine can i heard that like number six to number nine and i know the widths are different it's so minuscule the difference of the depth of the gouge that i would i would go for the nine just for the uh the depth all right i'm putting that in the kit number 11 this is one of my favorite tools as well number 11 is also called a veiner it has a uh, very deep gouge but also uh, very high walls on the side this is really good for you want to do a little bit softer hair or just roughing out some details without getting a real sharp point down but it's enough to take it out and uh, i love them so again here's a little uh, little flex cut number 11. you can do this for adding hair details whiskers outlining lines without uh, digging in too deep so i am going to uh have to stick with if i keep them all flex cut say i'm going to stick with the number 11 here as well but you know they're all the same it's the widths that are different let me talk about the widths really quick whenever we're talking about the uh the v tool how the v tool size doesn't matter because you could, that will translate a small v tool all the way up to a bigger v tool right and graduations as long as you stay below you've got all these sizes of v tools that doesn't work the same for the uh the gouges you know if you have the big 
number 11, well, the smaller one is just going to be a little guy, right? So that base translates with the, the top height, okay? If that makes any sense to you at all, I know what I'm trying to say. But, so number 11 does not work the same way. The gouges don't work. So you really need to get the size that you want. And there again, around the uh, 10 to 15 millimeter range for your characters is a, is a perfect size. But also uh, a smaller one is nice. Nice little, uh, I should measure this one, but it's probably, probably only about four mil, this one here. And these are great for hair and uh, just marking lines and little extra little details. You know, I would uh, stick with, where is it? If I was sticking with the uh, flex cut again, I would go with this one here. And I'm going to say it's uh, probably about a four mil. Yeah, we're going to call it a four or five mil uh, number 11. All right. So we've looked at all these tools here. And, you know, at the end of the day, if you have a knife, a 60 degree V tool, a number three, about 15 mil, you know, about 10 mil number nine and about a four or five mil number 11, no matter what the brand, these, I'm, I'm just showing you flex cuts, but I could care less what brand they are. And you want to carve more realistic little, little characters and, uh, you know, with eyes, even putting a fluff on a Santa hat, getting in back in between the arms or in the little, underneath the little deep spots and stuff. These four tools will get you very, very far. In fact, you may never need anything else again unless you change the size of the carving. And that's what I'm saying about the gouges. The gouges that you pick should be suited to what you're carving. So if you're carving four to six inch men, this is exactly perfect for you and you shouldn't need anything else. All right. If you're going to carve 30 inch wood spirits and trees, then obviously you're going to the big boys, but that's a totally different thing. But just to uh, take any confusion out about all the sets that are out there, you can do fine with just these five tools. Now, I am well aware that this was such a quick, superficial brush over of all these tools, but it's the it's really the meat and potatoes right here. We don't talk about the skews. Skews are basically a knife. We don't talk about different shapes of uh, bends. We don't need fish tails. There, there's you can just go on and on and on. But if you have a knife, a four or five mil number 11, that's great for hair, texture, little, uh, even Santa fluff in his hat. Number nine will get you those eye sockets dug in nice and deep. Number three will get you up between the shoulders and back and anywhere you want to take some flat off with, you can't get your knife in on the, on the angle where you just slide up a number three, you know, and the V tool for, uh, you know, just roughing out your carving, adding beard hair, hair of any kind, just anywhere you want a V tool, you know, 60 degree V tool. So I wanted to keep this video simple and I think simple is what it is. I'm showing flex cuts, but there's so many makers out there. I don't even want to talk about them all. But uh, honestly, if you have these five tools and you're carving four to six inch men, you're golden. If you're going to carve three foot wood spirits in a tree totally different animal but if you want to supplement your knife there's four good choices just to get you started without breaking the bank so i hope this video helped and uh yeah make it simple don't get it complicated it's a fun hobby and uh less is more learn to use what you have and uh you'll go far Thanks for listening to my ramblings. And uh, like I said before, I got the uh, whole playlist of uh, introduction to wood carving that you can dig in and talk about all other aspects of the beginning of the carving hobby. So I'll leave it right there. So thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.